I was in a restaurant, I'll, I'll post about it soon, and a robot came to the table to deliver. It was cool, but if it's too clunky, then that becomes a hindrance. It's cool, was it necessary? I don't know, but that's the kind of thing, it's like what makes the experience better that I just don't notice it. And that's what I think people miss when they talk about technology and innovation. So walked a very fine line in that in football, but that I think gave me a better appreciation of how people are solving problems, not just to solve problems, but really to actually address um, real concerns. And I think Houston is so uniquely positioned to do that. We're not solving Houston problems, we're solving world problems. And I, I think that's so very cool. We wanted to be a part of that. And it sounds like then Houston Exponential is the perfect fit for you to oh. do that. And you're running the show now, so congrats about that. Thank you, thank you, I, I think anyway. But it is one of those things where I get so super excited about Houston, the potential of Houston. I tell everybody, I had an office in New York, the offset of LA, flew back and forth, and people just ignored Houston. And I'm like, but Houston, Texas has it all. Mm. But they, it wasn't a, in a lot of conversation. And if you look at some of the technology and innovation that's coming out of here, that people just ignore. When, if you're an investor, you're missing a huge opportunity. So when I got the opportunity to come back to Houston in a, this kind of way, which to me was big, I get to talk about Houston, I get to talk about technology and innovation, and someone's gonna actually say that I'm supposed to do this, I have a responsibility. <laughs> okay, how did, how did, how did I do that, that every day. <laughs> how, yeah, exactly. How did that happen? I mean, how did they find you or how did sure. you find them? So I was when I was in technology and innovation at the NFL, um, a lot of what I was doing is this growing area of sports tech. And as you uh, are aware, sports tech doesn't really sports tech doesn't really have a home or city that's like that's the city. There were some cities who said we're putting the stake in the ground and we're going to be the home of technology innovation. When I came back to Houston, I think in 16, 17, uh, some of the leaders were like, we want to be you know top ten in in innovation and technology. And I wrote back and I said, well, why not sports tech? Why not own sports tech at the time? Houston had three of the or has four major sports. Three of the four are champions, world champions, which is not an easy feat to, to get to. And then you have at least 10 sports where the, the Hall of Famer or the gold medalist or the top of the game is, is calls Houston or the surrounding area home. And then with the largest medical center in the country, arguably in the world, how do you not necessarily d d sort of attach yourself to sports performance and sports rehabilitation? Sports me medicine. Sports medicine. It's, it's, it's just a natural gravitation. And so we have all the ingredients. We just needed somebody to say, hey, we want to do this because no one else has done this. You can, you can train all year round. Athletes were coming here by the dozens because of the cost of living and the, and the quality of life and then the ability to train. And so why not Houston?